Well, I'm so excited today to be telling you about a series that I'm starting that's going to be called Creating a Handmade Home. And the reason why I'm starting this series actually goes all the way back to about two months ago when I was in these crazy nesting hormones right before I had my second daughter. And I just looked around my house and I was like, I hate everything. Where's the style? Where's the congruency? Thankfully, since then, many of these hormones have subsided. However, I have realized that for the past couple of years, I've imagined this home that I really want to create. And I've always just thought, once we have the little white farmhouse, then I'll create this home. And I've realized there's no reason I can't do it now because I can save up, I can sell certain things, I can sell the old furniture and get different stuff off of marketplace so all that being said this is my pinterest board this is my dream abode pinterest board and as you can see i have a lot of different styles and the struggle has always been trying to figure out how to mix them all together in a way where it flows smoothly because i'm not just cottage core i'm not just minimalist i'm not just modern i'm not just rustic or farmhouse i'm like this very strange combination of all of those plus like 10 other other things so we'll see how this all goes i'm super excited to be starting this series talking about not only painting and diys and all that stuff but also just the heart of your home so i'm really excited so let's jump into video number one so the first big thing that i decided i wanted to do when i was kind of looking around our house and deciding what to change was that i really wanted to have something to cover up the tv and i really wanted to have something to cover up the metal breaker box that is right beneath the coat rack when you come into our home. So I decided to go with one of these chalkboards, which I've realized are super popular now. So I just actually built it out of a thin piece of plywood, and then I just made a little frame to go around the outside. And then I went to the store actually and got this sage greenish gray colored paint that I really liked. It kind of reminds me of like a cottage shade. And this was actually just a little container that I bought of like the testing paint that you can buy. And so it cost just a couple of dollars and I still have enough. I could probably do another piece of furniture with it. So it was a really easy and inexpensive way. And then I got this wax. And let me tell you, this is the funnest stuff to work with. I have loved everything I've done with it so far because it just makes your wood look really old. It makes the paint look super chippy and I sanded down a couple of things and I absolutely love how this turned out and I love that it adds a pop of green to our house. So the next thing though that I really wanted to change out as soon as possible was our dining room table. And the biggest reason was because our dining room table was circular and it just didn't fit very well in our small amount of space. The other thing though that I didn't like was just there's so many cracks and crevices in these chairs and in the design on the table that it's really hard to keep them clean, especially now that we have kids. So 
We replaced that with this gorgeous little antique table that I absolutely love and I feel like completely had the snowball effect and made me want to change a ton of other things. I'm sure my husband was thrilled about that. However, the problem was that we got it home and kind of evaluated it and decided that it was not sturdy enough for everyday use. The chairs are great, but the table is really wobbly. And so we ended up moving that into my daughter's room. And as most of my projects have gone so far, ended up having to find another table, which we found for $25, which is solid oak. And then I had the really fun challenge of trying to match the new table with the chairs from this other table that I really, really loved. So that has been such a fun challenge, learning how to kind of antique furniture and just try and get a little bit better at refinishing furniture. It's been really, really fun. Okay, so like I mentioned, buying that little antique table with the four chairs had this massive ripple effect. I apologized to my husband because all of a sudden I was like, oh my goodness, there are so many things I could change and there are so many things that I can make match. And I really liked the way that this table turned out and I love the chairs. And so my second victim was this little high chair that I bought from the thrift store. It was like $20 maybe. And it was super nice, super sturdy, but just old and kind of an ugly stain color. Here is my daughter. I have her do whatever I can think of to stay entertained while I work on projects so I can <laughs> keep doing them even though I have kids. So today's project was her painting her own little high chair that I drew on a piece of paper. But anyway, so I took this high chair and I used chalk paint, which I am somewhat new to using, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's been so much easier to sand off too than spray paint, which has been really nice. So I painted it all. I sanded it down and kind of made it a little bit more antique and age looking. And then I used that same wax, put that over top. And then I sealed it all with the clear veneer. And I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I love that it matches the table and chairs absolutely perfectly. I'm quite I'm quite pleased. It's been really fun. I did want to pause during this video and clarify that while I'm super excited about these changes that I'm making, I'm also checking my heart behind them because while I love the idea of having a stylish home and I love the idea of discovering what this style is for myself, I most certainly do not want it to come at the expense of my family, particularly my children, because I have found that when I'm really excited about projects, I just want to get everything done and sometimes I can become much more impatient and rather than realizing, you know what, this is a home that I can create and it can be an act of love I can do towards my children and towards my family, my children can actually kind of become the problem or the thing that's in the way. And so I'm having to stop and try to slow down a little bit to be more patient, to be kind, and to make sure that I have the right heart posture because ultimately I can have the perfect house. Ultimately, I can take a picture that looks like it's from Pinterest, but if I yelled at my children the entire time that I was trying to create this and became super irritated and frustrated, or am super stressed out when things don't look perfect or when there's footprints on the floor, then ultimately I think I've kind of lost the goal that actually matters in the end. And so while I'm so excited to create a home that I really love, that I'm excited to bring people into, I want the biggest focus to be on my heart posture towards the home and towards the people in the home rather than the material items themselves. The next thing that I did was to bring in a jute rug and I actually found this on Marketplace which is such a great tool but I will warn you it is also an addiction and so be careful with it. But I brought in this jute rug, got it for $75, it was like a 10 by 8 rug I think so it's very big, I got a very good deal on it and I was able to get rid of our old one and the first day I thought I had made a mistake because I just, it took a day to get adjusted. But now it is probably one of my very favorite things in our living room. I love the color and that it adds a very 
different feeling to our living room. And when I was looking at a lot of pictures on Pinterest, I did find I repeatedly had photos that I had saved that had jute rugs in them. So, so far I've really loved it and I'm super happy I got it. The last thing so far that has been a bit of a change is that I got this vintage swivel chair. I think it's a bohemian style chair and I love that it's something very different and it adds this wood contrast to the gray couches. I also got this off of Marketplace and I've just been really pleased with it. So I'm really excited with the direction my home is going in. I'm really excited with the challenge of just trying to figure out what my style is. I'm a little bit nervous because already I felt like I've bought things and then kind of changed my mind about them. And yeah, my husband can attest to this. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I have lots of plans for the future as far as getting old chairs to reupholster. I want to make pillowcases for the pillows so that they all match and just continue the journey of figuring out my style. So stay tuned. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week in my next video. See you all later. Bye.